now we gather at our tables, each in our own homes, and even though we're in different places, we are united with one purpose, and that is to commune with our Lord and Savior Jesus and God in heaven. May God's Spirit be with us now. May God bless us as we gather at our tables at home and celebrate the Lord's Supper with churches around the world in cyberspace. It is our duty and a good and joyful thing to give thanks to you, O God, Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our God, and spoke to us through your prophets, our Lord, his apostles, and your spirit throughout the ages. And so we join in the heavenly hymn, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and of might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This is a joyful feast of the people of God. May we as a family and of friends and neighbors share in this heavenly feast. During the week that we're about to celebrate, Holy Week, which began with the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Jesus gathered with his disciples in the upper room, and he had upon the table of the Passover meal that they shared bread and wine. And he took the bread and he blessed it and said, This is my body broken for you. As often as you meet, Take and eat in remembrance of me. And likewise, after the supper, Jesus took the cup and he blessed it and said, This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you meet, take and drink in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Almighty and most gracious God, pour out your spirit now on these common elements of bread and wine. May they become for us the body and blood of Christ so that we might become the body of Christ, redeemed by Christ's love, and go into the world and serve. So now as you gather around your table, just share the bread. And remember that Jesus gave his life for you and eat of this bread that represents his body. And then when you come to the part to receive the cup of salvation, take and drink the blood of the new covenant, remembering that Jesus is our Passover lamb and that he poured out his blood for you and me. We are saved in and through Jesus. Praise be to God. After you have finished sharing at your table, as we have done at our table, we'll pray this prayer. God, we are thankful for the blessings of bread and wine. As we share this agape meal in our homes, May the ordinary bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ, so that by our sharing together, we become the body of Christ, redeemed through Christ's love, seeking to share his love with others. Amen. And as we prepare to go forth, let us pray. Eternal God, we give thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go forth into the world in the strength of your Spirit to give ourselves to others in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
And they said, Amen.